my art straight. Right. Welcome back to the videos, everybody. Today I are mostly be eating turnip. Anyway, going to have to offend somebody. Showing you the reason why I'm changing them. I mean, they'll probably be alright for a little bit. Yep. <laughs> what? That's uh, that seems fine. Yep. I'm just going to ignore that. Pretend we haven't seen it. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Today is Maggie's Ancillaries. So we've got a couple of hours spare. The sun's out. It's Baltic, but the suns are out. The suns are out. It's like the suns of Tatooine. Anyway, um, the sun's out. Uh, so we're going to do a little bit before we need to go in and do a roast dinner. Because it's Sunday. And it's very British. So we're going to get a couple of bits done. Um, I've got some new heater hoses. Because the old ones are broken. So... We've got some new heater ho hoses to go on, the wiper motor can go on, the carb can go on with its new gasket kit, which is here. Um, I'm reducing the spare parts table, which is good. Um, you know, because you've got to have a, a number of spare parts. The exhaust can be reconnected before I put the carb back on, because that's an absolute twat bag to do. So um, I'll probably do that before we get too carried away. Um, Got to find the bolts. Need the bolts? No, not the bolts. Anyway, we'll sort that. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the heat hoses first because that's a nice easy job. Um, then I'll connect the exhaust back up because that should be quite straightforward. Uh, then we can get the carb on. I've got another fuse box because it turns out I haven't got enough fuses to be able to do it on the way that we uh, originally thought. So I'm going to put a new fuse box on the right hand side for the fuel pump and any ancillary. So like the stereo and that can run off this one then instead of the main one. Um, that was the old one, which as you can see is broken. So... Um, and that's the old case, but I have got a new case for the original fuse box, so we can get that on as well. Um, horn, I'm not going to put the horn on yet, because I think I'm going to try and powder coat that first. But that we can access at any point. Washer bottle, I think I need to try and put a cleaner through it. I know people have used dishwashers before, and they've come out really well, but... We don't have a dishwasher, so um, I'll have to try some chemical in it, I think. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll Milton do. will work, yeah. And then we've got to start solenoid and a couple of other bits to go back on. Um, so basically, it's just a case of getting as much on as we can. We've got a couple of hours before we lose the light, so uh, let's crack on. First things first, speedo cable. Need to make sure it's got a nice smooth run into the speedo, otherwise it jumps around. It's just a slightly out of shape, the exhaust, so I'm just making sure it's right. Got a little kink just there. So. This is an absolute pain in the backside of a job. Because everything just keeps moving. I 
and put a bit of copper slip on it just so the bolts nuts sorry have a more of a chance of uh, slippy sliding So that's half of the problem. You've got to try and hold it in about 13 places. It's a little bit difficult. Half inch. To use a 13 mil because my socket won't reach. Right, the problem here is I've got to try and you see the exhaust has dropped so that'll blow. So what I've got to do is somehow slacken it off and then hold it while holding the clamp and the nut. Will it leak? Yes, yes it absolutely will. Hang on, there is a lovely new box to go on that. Hopefully I won't shut this one in the bonnet. Upside down, you know. Yeah, in the wrong way. I'm just wondering how. Yeah, yeah. It's got to go side to side instead of up to down. And it... No, this regulator's in the right place. Yeah. It's got to go like that, and it. Yeah, because otherwise it can't get wires. Yeah. And then that goes on there like that. Oh. Toy, toy like a tiger. Oh, no, no, no. how is this proper dated? So the problem is, is that uh, every time I move it, the uh, clamp's getting tighter. Proper tight. Oh. Right, hose clamps are off. I'm not sure that they've ever been changed. Although, saying that, they must have been because the original hoses had 90 degree angles on the end of them. These don't. So, and I, I might treat it to some new. Uh, pipe clips because they're broken yeah what I don't know is which way around these go in fact let's look because we'll be able to connect them up and then work out whether the hoses are long enough um, heater maybe do we think 
it's the Haynes manual, so it'll probably be with something like bumpers. Or Are you reading? No. Uh, okay, handbrake, hinges, horn. Brilliant. Okay, so what's another word for a heater? So I had to resort to Google, finding an image on Google Images of an engine bay, and then hoping that the image that I got had got the heater set the right way round. But from what we can see, the top hose, which goes to the top part of the heater box inside the cab, goes to the bypass tube, and the bottom one, which goes to the bottom part of the heater box, goes to your tap or valve control. In my instance, it's a valve control. So hopefully these new hoses will be long enough. Um, so we don't have to put the join in them. Which would be nice. Now if I could just stop shaking for long enough to get this screwdriver in the hole, that'd be great. Right, this is the old hose. Just showing you the reason why I'm changing them. I mean, they'll probably be alright for a little bit. Yep. Bit now. <laughs> this is really quite painful. Just keeps popping out. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Right, there we go. It is. Right. Now all I need is a little adapter for here. And it's a little pin that goes through. And then when you pull that, it will pull this in. And that's what allows the water to travel around the system. Looks a bit neater, doesn't it? Do we not have that? That pin? I don't think so, unless I've got a spare one on the carb. Baskets. So, gasket on first, then the spacer, then a gasket, then a carb. Now we've just got to find the bolts for the carb. Vacuum hose. And then I should be able to use that as a breather for this, if I can find some hose that's long enough, which means I can fit that um, pancake filter, because the only thing that's stopping it is uh, the fact that there's no breather for the um, crankcase. Crankcase. Cam rocker. rocker thingy. Now, I know I powder coated the um, air box, but I have got that and I've had it for a while, but we've not used it because we've been having breather issues because 
this engine's got a breather from the rocker cover it didn't work with my previous carburetor because this bit here was blocked off but on this carburetor it's open so if I can find a pipe that's long enough to go to that boom Bobby Dazzler Lovely jubbly. God, I need a bigger garage. You need less space consuming heavy. Or a bigger garage. Yo. Uh. Copious amounts. Holes are at the top. Fortunately, it's only a massive pain in the arse to do this, so that's good. Now, the great thing is, is that the back of it is screws that you can't get to. You can't get a screwdriver in it. Yeah, you can't stop it spinning. Well, anyway, it is on. So that's that. That's that. That now needs a bit of spot of oil in it while I remember. It's very important that you use the correct oil. way too much perfect right hello there fuelius pompius it's held in with what should be two bolts but there's only one I wonder if I could rob one. It's bound to have been some sat in the subframe. Uh, loads. Loads. Just casually chilling in the subframe. Yeah, I think this, obviously this fuel pump was moved at some point and whoever did it decided that Fitting two bolts back into it was not necessary. Yep. Yeah. Maybe that's why it was chilling out in the uh, subframe. Lubalum. Lubalum. And that's a different size. Of 
course it is. Maybe it's an 11. Maybe it's a 12. Maybe it's neither. No. Yes. But this span is broken. Fantastic. Yeah. They are shite. It's a shame Halfords don't do imperial ratchets. should be there, which it, it should. Right, that hose goes down there onto that tiny little bit of copper just there. And then this hose, that went like that, into there, always held on by that clip just there. That's the speedo drive right next to the exhaust. Maybe I'll move that. Maybe I'll put that that side of the fuel line. Do that. And I need a screwdriver. God, I thought the door had shut properly then. It clearly hasn't. So it's important that we make sure that the fuel line is touching the exhaust. That's key to a successful operation. Like so. Okay, then that comes from there around to there but we're going to put a new fuel filter on it mm. you can really dance mm. you can really dance she said Obviously with them being plastic fixings, you make sure that you really tighten them down. Nice and tight. Beautiful. Right, just connecting the spring up now for the um, throttle return. Brum 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 brum! Like that. Oh, I know what's wrong. Oh, what a twat. Oh, serious malfunction of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> 